Greetings, my name is Owen Ryder, and I am the author of the Christian book, The Hourglass, by Owen Ryder. In the Gospel of John, chapters 7 and 8, the Pharisees and scribes bring to Jesus a woman accused of adultery, with the intention of stoning her. I once read a commentary on these verses, and the writer stated that the real reason for wanting to stone this woman was that among the scribes and Pharisees, there were members that were themselves guilty of committing adultery with her. I dare say of all the non-conformist acts Jesus displayed, this is the one that may have gotten him in the most trouble with the powerfully religious hierarchy simply because of the scandalous nature it presented. And of course, it was the Pharisees who ultimately framed Christ and gave him over to the Romans to be crucified. And concerning that horrific act of violence, in Isaiah 52.14, the Bible says, and I quote, Just as there were many who were appalled at him, his appearance was so disfigured, beyond that of any man, and his form marred beyond human likeness. Interestingly, in the Gospel of John, chapter 20, after the crucifixion, Jesus suddenly appears before the disciples in the upper room, and if it were not for the showing them his pierced hands, they seem to not recognize him. In Luke 24, Jesus joins two disciples on the road to Emmaus, but they do not recognize him until he breaks bread with them, miles into the journey. In the book of Acts, while the disciples are fishing, they do not initially recognize who it is on the shore cooking food until they realize it is Christ. Finally, in the book of Revelation, the fifth chapter, the Apostle John is present while Christ stands amidst the throne, still appearing, fresh, freshly slain. There are some in in the Christian, Christian community that believe the Christ that we who believe in him will behold for eternity will see him as a marred, disfigured, and even crippled being. And the reason for this is that we would always be reminded just how much he suffered on our behalf. My name is Owen Ryder. Thanks for listening.